John with uh, goldandsilvertocash.com. Rigged up a couple little jobs here. This is a uh, this is a wedding ring, and this is a quarter, and I've scotch taped it onto a piece of just normal household sewing thread. And if you just take that and put it on a on a um, any kind of like a pin that's nice and smooth, roll it around a little bit, and see if see if it goes. See if it stays balanced or if it goes down lower. See, these are pretty balanced. It's not going anywhere, even when I turn it. They're staying right together. So I would say that's $125 worth of gold on that little wedding man. Now, here's another example. This is a quarter on one end and another ring. Oh, look at this. It's getting away. Come back, come back. All right, so it must be worth more than $125 because it just keeps sliding. Look at the, the gold is going right down. The quarter is going up. Okay, so let's put another quarter on it. Now all I did was I just took a piece of scotch tape and I'm going to add a quarter to it. And now we'll see. Ooh, look at that. Pretty balanced. I'd say that's a $250 ring. So you can do this at home yourself. You can just uh, play with it a little bit, see what happens. I'm going to lay it right down and let you see. There's two quarters and one ring, and that's worth $250. And I think that pretty well wraps it up for today. Thank you for watching. and. Uh, Check in with uh, goldandsilvertocash.com and we'll show you more.